Well, we're a week and a half in, and it looks like the big and the racy are almost all the way there at this point. Uh, so if you zoom back to Sunday, we could see that the crowd was relatively clumped together, uh, but the four forerunners made a, a huge gain this week, uh, scooting out into the heavier winds. Uh, and we can see that uh, the bigger catamarans and race, bigger racing boats are nearly at the end. If we zoom in a little bit, take a closer look at the boats up front. So we can see Allegra very much in the lead at this point. Uh, they've been screaming along. Uh, currently they're reporting in at uh, 13.2 knots. Uh, but if we scroll back just a little bit, I noticed I was checking in on them a little while ago. On a different tack, they were, they were screaming along. So if we zoom back out, right about here or so. Yep, we can see 16.7 knots coming. They're just creaming along. But not unexpected for a boat designed for that. Uh, take a quick look at the other boats. Ulysse, uh, 10 knots. CC, the uh, Volvo 65, 17 knots. They're screaming along too. Uh, the Kid, 10.8 knots, but not that much far further behind CC. Uh, some better choices in tacking. The other uh, high-speed catamarans, the uh, Marcedons and the Outremers are coming up behind that. And then we start to see the bigger cruising boats uh, and the bigger cruising cats coming in um, behind those. But these, these boats here are probably a day or two behind Allegra at this point, at least. Zooming back out, we can see that the field is spread out quite a bit with the fast boats out front, the racier boats in the middle, and the smaller boats way out and behind. So the common explanation of why longer boats are faster comes down to hull speed. Uh, so the common formula for hull speed that most people use is this one, uh, 1.34 times the square root of the length on the waterline. But the big secret is what you see down here in this oval, this big hole. When the boat speed is fast enough, this big hole gets to be the same length as the boat. And now the boat is always going uphill to try and get over it. And this is what represents the hull speed. But there are also some other factors that are involved, uh, most notably the shape of the hull. So that 1.3 number happens to represent most boats because most boats are basically shaped the same. Some boats are fatter and wider and deeper. So if we look at the displacement to length and the beam to length, ratios of some boats, we'll see a big difference. So this is a shorter boat in the fleet. This is the Beneteau, and we can see that its displacement to length ratio is about 7% worse than the Swan 82 that we're going to look at. So this Swan is almost twice as long as the Beneteau, uh, but the bigger point here is that it's fairly narrow compared to the Beneteau for its length. If we compare the beam to length ratios, we can see that for its length, the Swan is actually about 30% narrower than the Beneteau. And this is also contributing a great deal to how fast the boat goes. And also, when we look at all the racing class boats, uh, one of the bigger factors making them quicker for a given length as well. I put together these quick little clips just to show the differences. This is a butter knife. It makes a very minimal wake through water. It's got a fine profile. This is a wooden knife, much thicker, and we can see that it makes a much bigger wake due to its wider profile. And then lastly, I flipped over the wooden knife to use the handle, which is round. And we can see it makes a huge wake and a big bow wave curling right up in front due to its blunt profile. So just because a boat is long doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be faster. A fat boat will be slow.